What do bikes have to do with art? At a new event in Boulder, participants would say everything. The second annual Bike Arts Gala was held this year at the Dairy Center for the Arts near Pearl Street. Bikers, artists, and attendees came together to enjoy a collection of bike-related art pieces. And my piece is of a bicycle. It's um, got a sort of a stucco-ish, reddish background. It's just leaning kind of in the middle of the air on, on a curb. And the title of my painting is Where's My Bicycle? Last year, the Dairy's Bike Art Show attracted almost 20,000 people, a tremendous response that organizers didn't expect. This year, the Dairy scheduled opening night on two separate days. The event was open to the public and tickets were free. Art in the show included bicycle-inspired paintings, sculptures, photography, stained glass, home decor, jewelry, weaving, and much more. Here we are at the Boulder Bike Arts Gala. Almost 500 entries were submitted across 27 states. After careful consideration, judges have chosen 132 to be put on display. Every piece is different, but all are inspired by bikes. The Dairy Crown winners during the opening nights and gave away $5,000 in cash prizes. It also showed biking films, a music comedy about bicycling men, and hosted a day honoring cycling nonprofits. To say the least, the event was a bike lover's dream come true. Um, Boulder and Colorado and the entire state is crazy about bicycles. Indeed it is. The Travel Channel recently rated Boulder as the top cycling city in the U.S. Out of the top 25 mid-sized cities for art, Boulder was rated 14 by American Style Magazine. These are a few of the main reasons Mitch Levin moved to Boulder from Chicago. His love of bikes has become his artistic inspiration, landing him as one of the Bike Arts Gala winners. Look at things a little differently. So I'm like taking the gears thinking, oh, I can make this really cool chandelier, just hanging all these gears and things from you know, other parts. Other artists were not only excited to share their creative passions, but encourage a healthier lifestyle that comes naturally with riding bikes. I think, you know, bike maps and people not using automobiles all the time. It's very important. Walking or riding or exercising and getting cardiovascular fitness. However, one doesn't need to know anything about bikes or art to appreciate the gala. Uh, Boulder has a pretty strong bike community, so I think it's, uh, I think it's good to have things like this for sure, that's why. With over 20,000 attendees, the event was a huge success. Organizers and participants were pleased and are excited for future years to come. Jenna Chatelon, News Team Boulder.